Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today we're going to be taking a quick look at what's new here in Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 18277. This is the latest 19H1 build, which is the new code name for this development cycle, from the Windows Insider Fast Ring. Many of the features I'm going to be showing you may still change by the time they reach a release build in a future update. Build 18277 brings lots of small changes that I'm sure people will appreciate. A few of these we'll find here in Action Center. The first thing you'll notice when opening Action Center in 18277 is the addition of a new kind of control, the brightness slider. Gone are the days of momentarily burning your eyes out at 12pm while changing your brightness from 25 to 100%. Uh, this was a small issue, but it's a welcome change. Action Center previously had shortcuts, switches, toggles, and what we now see as a slider all mixed together randomly under similarly styled buttons. The slider helps the toggle and its functionality stand out from the other quick actions. Your quick actions can now also be customized directly from Action Center instead of having to go into the Windows settings. Just right click on a quick action and you'll see here an edit button. This will open up an edit mode that you can unpin a quick action, move them around with your mouse, or at the bottom here click add to add a quick action that's not already on the list. It seems the brightness slider only has one place it can go right now at the very bottom, and the done button locks it all into place. Scaling classic apps for high DPI displays is an ongoing challenge for Windows 10. In a previous update, a new setting that tries to fix apps that appear blurry due to scaling was added to the Windows settings. Users would frequently encounter this setting notifying you to fix blurry apps. Considering this feature is now pretty well developed, it's being turned on by default starting with 18277. Several new emoji are available to Windows Insider starting with this build. These new emoji are for the upcoming Emoji 12 release, which will also see these new emoji standardized across different devices and platforms. Input methods for those who speak Japanese are also being updated. The Japanese IME, or Input Method Editor, has gotten some attention recently, which aims to improve the text prediction experience for those who speak this language. Additional options for the Japanese IME can also be found in the Windows settings under Language. Windows Insiders should spend a few minutes when they encounter a new bug investigating it so they can provide more useful feedback about its occurrence. Check the Feedback Hub for known issues with your build under the Announcements, and search for existing feedback to make sure your issue hasn't already been posted. Being more organized as a Windows Insider goes a long way to focusing on the issues that matter most. These builds can be unstable and may still harbor bugs that cause frustration or bog down your device. Be careful and think twice about installing them onto a device you rely on for something important. Many of the features I've discussed will reach a Windows update available to the general public in the future, but until then, you can subscribe and check out onmicrosoft.com for more info. Additional links will be available in the description. Thank you, goodbye.